Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to my channel. In today's session, we will dive into the world of uh, uh, Route 53, which is the uh, DNS service um, uh, of AWS. So whenever in AWS, we talk about managing your DNS, Route 53 service is uh, what we have. Uh, now, whether you are preparing for an interview or you are just eager to enhance your knowledge on AWS Route 53 service, then uh, you are in the right place. Uh, now, in this particular session, we will look at uh, 10 common or top 10 interview questions that you can expect as part of this uh, Route 53 service. Once again, before I start off with this session, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So uh, let's start off with your first question, which is what is Route 53? So like I said, uh, Route 53 is simply your DNS service that we have in AWS. Now, this is a scalable and highly available service which is provided by your AWS. So whenever we talk about your DNS service in AWS, Route 53 is a service that we use. So this is designed to route your uh, end users traffic. So let's say as a user, I hit www.google.com. So now that request needs to be processed. So that's where we can make use of your Route 53, which in turn will distribute the uh, traffic, the request to your AWS resources. So let's say for example, we are hosting an application on AWS um, and then we want our the users to access this application. We can make use of your Route 53 for that. So as a user, we will hit the Route 53 and then this Route 53 in turn will route the request to the resources where the application is hosted. So Route 53 is simply a DNS service that we have in AWS. Moving on to the next question, how does Route 53 handle the DNS resolution? So uh, Route 53, like you know, uh, any um, uh, domain service we have, uh, Route 53 helps us to translate the domain names to the respective IP addresses of your computer. So, you know, when we talk about your servers, your machines, uh, it makes use of your IP addresses to identify each other on the internet. So this Route 53, it uh, helps us to convert the domain name. So let's say, for example, www.example.com. So it will help us to convert this domain names to its uh, respective IP address so that the servers, the computers can identify each other on the network. So it efficiently resolves this domain names to the respective IP addresses, which mainly helps in low latency and also uh, providing a reliable DNS response. So that's basically how your uh, Route 53 manages your uh, DNS resolution. Moving on to the next question, what type of DNS records? does Route 53 support? So there are a variety of records that your Route 53 supports. So we have the A record, we have 4A record, uh, C name record, MX record, we have the TXT record. Likewise, we have many more. So here, uh, I have created a hosted zone just for the sake of example. So here, when I click on this create record, uh, you should be able to see. So these are the different, different type of records that we can create. So this is for your IPv4. Uh, address record this is for ipv6 address record so c name mx txt ptr so likewise we have different different records now based on your use case based on your requirement each of this record type serves a specific purpose when we are working with your dns system the next question we have is what is a hosted zone in route 53 so here i've already created a hosted zone but what's the purpose of this? So, so hosted zone, it simply acts as a container for your DNS records. And this hosted zone will be mapped to a single domain. So let's say, for example, here, if you see, uh, I have. OK, so here, if you see, I have this uh, domain cloud techies dot cloud. Now, if you want to create records for this, so this hosted zone, it simply acts as a container. So I can add something like, let's say, uh, one dot cloud techies dot cloud, two dot cloud techies dot cloud, three dot cloud techies dot cloud, and then so on. So this hosted zone simply acts as a container for our records. And this hosted zone will be mapped to a single domain. OK, so this simply stores information about how the traffic is routed for your domain or the subdomains. The next question we have is how can you configure a domain registered with 
another registrar to use route 53 so basically uh, we have your route 53 but then we are using a different domain registrar so how can we configure uh, route 53 to use this domain registrar uh, so it is possible so what we have to do is if you want to uh, if you want route 53 to use another uh, registrar so what we have to do is we'll have to create a hosted zone in route 53 which will uh, uh, give us the uh, name servers now we'll have to take these name servers and we'll have to add it in the third party uh, registrar that we are using so we'll have to basically um, so here if you see i have created this uh, hosted zone and here you can say i have this uh, name record so the ns record so I have to take this NS records. I have to go to my uh, third party registrar, which in this case is Hostinger, just for the sake of example, I've taken it. So here you can have the domain and we can go to manage and all I have to do is I have to uh, uh, change this. So I have to uh, basically take the name servers provided by Route 53 and I have to add it here in this domain registrar. And then my route 53 will will start uh, delegating the dns control so uh, all the traffic will be routed uh, via route 53 to that particular uh, uh, domain server so we just have to take the name servers and then add it to the uh, domain registrar the next question we have is what is the purpose of a health check in route 53 so route 53 also um, can be used to uh, do a health check on the resources it could be your ec2 instance it could be your s3 bucket you know just to check whether those resources are working as expected or not and at any point if this resource becomes unhealthy then route 53 will stop uh, routing the traffic to these resources which will help the uh, availability improving the availability of your application so here uh, if you go to your route 53 you should be able to see this health check so this is same as creating a health check for your uh, load balancer so you can fill in these details uh, you know what is the url that you want to monitor and uh, when you're creating the records you can um, uh, add these health check and your route 53 will start monitoring uh, uh, those uh, resources and if it is unhealthy then route 53 will not send the traffic to those uh, resources the next question we have is can route 53 be used for domain registration so yes in addition to uh, routing the traffic to your aws resources we can also make use of your route 53 to register new domains as well as uh, transfer existing ones like uh, uh, if you want to register a new domain so you have the options you can go to this uh, uh, registered uh, domains and uh, you can start uh, registering a new domain so you can select your uh, domain name so you know you can go to register domains you can select a domain and search whether that domain is available or not for example let's say i'll look for uh, cloudtechies.cloud .cloud. so this will tell whether the domain name is available or not so in my case it's already taken because I have registered it with a different registrar and it will also give us some recommendation as to you know if you want to use you can use this so you can create new uh, 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 domains you can register new domains you also have the option of transferring the uh, domains which are uh, registered in another registrar for example the domain that i have registered here in hostinger i can transfer this over to route 53 that is also uh, possible so it provides a simple and seamless process for managing this domain registration so it is possible the next question we have is what is the difference between an alias record and an c name record in route 53 so the alias record is used uh, to map a domain to the aws resources for example uh, to the load balancer or to the s3 bucket url or to the cloudfront url so if you want to map your domain name to the aws resources we can make use of an alias record so here when we are creating your uh, uh, record so let's say i'll go to the hosted zones and uh, let's go to this and i'll create a new record and here you can see i mean these are the records but here you can tell that you want to create an alias record and this will start pointing to your aws resources so any of these uh, aws resources if you want to map your uh, domain 
uh, to the AWS resources, we will create an alias record. The C name on the other hand can be used when you want to map one domain to another domain like an alias all right but this is mapping one domain to another uh, domain your cname record so here let's say if i change this to c name it is always um, uh, going to be an uh, endpoint so this won't be an ip address rather it will be an uh, url a dns so that's where we make use of your c name so c name can be used whenever you want to map uh, one domain name with another or rather you know one domain to another uh, domain we can make use of your cname record so alias records these are specific to aws resources uh, but cname uh, are not specific to aws resources and your alias records also provide additional benefits such as automatic updates so you know if your uh, uh, if your load balancer uh, gets updated your alias record automatically gets updated we don't have to do anything the next question we have is how can you implement uh, routing policies in uh, route 53 so your route 53 it supports a variety of uh, routing policies so we have the simple routing palace policy we have weighted routing policy latency based we have failover routing policy we have the geolocation routing policy and then we have the multi-value answer so you can choose any of these routing policies to manage the routing of your uh, traffic so each of this policy it allows you to control how your traffic is distributed based on different different criteria so all these routing policies uh, can be used for different different use cases so here whenever you are creating your record so here you have you can see the routing policy so these are the options you have so you have the simple routing weighted geolocation latency failover multi-value answer and you have two more options which are ip based and geo proximity so you can choose any of these and each of these has different different use cases like for example uh, weighted can be used to define your weightage of traffic that you want to send uh, to a particular server so likewise you can handle the routing of your traffic uh, based on the routing policies the next question we have is what is the significance of ttl time to live in uh, dns records now ttl can be used uh, to define the cache duration so how long do you want the cache to be stored in the dns resolvers we can define that by making use of your uh, ttl now this is a very important uh, this TTL it plays a very important role. So you know, depending on how quickly you wanna you want your changes to take effect, so we we make use of your TTL. So the lower the TTL, your changes will 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 you know uh, take effect uh, quickly. If the TTL is longer, then it will take time for your changes to uh, effect. So uh, basically, your TTL can be used to define the duration, how long you want your cache to be uh, stored. So here, every time you are creating your records, you have the option of specifying your uh, TTL. Minimum is 60 seconds, which is one minute, and it can go up to two days uh, to tell that you know how long you want, to, you want your cache to be stored. So that brings us to the end of your uh, top 10 interview questions that you can expect as part of your uh, AWS Route 53 service. Um, uh, once again, you know, whether you're preparing for uh, interview or, uh, uh, you know, you're just eager to enhance your knowledge, this should be uh, uh, sufficient for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and uh, uh, don't forget to uh, click on that bell icon to get notified um, uh, to stay in the loop and uh, uh, also hit that subscribe button uh, if you have any specific uh, uh, questions about route 53 or any any topic that you want me to cover uh, please then leave them in the comments uh, section uh, that's all for this session thank you i'll see you in the next video happy learning